what's up guys highway back here with another Helldivers divers video so the last loadout video that i had made uh i had some criticism because i didn't fully clear the uh fully clear the mission so this time around i'm going to try to fully clear it's going to be a little harder because um I, I can't see the uh because of this map effect i won't be able to see all the outposts as i go um but i'm going to try to do it anyway we're going to start here and we're just going to work our way around the outside of the map. So the loadout that we used before was the shield generator, the two eagles, and the grenade launcher. The idea behind this build is for it to be very low skill for, very easy. We're using the breaker and the impact grenade and the uh, redeemer. And our armor is the one that gives us a 50% chance of survival when uh, not taking damage. Now, since I've made this video, I'm going to use the stamina booster. Since I made this video, I've actually tried out a lot of other loadouts. And I've actually tweaked this one a little bit, but because the idea behind this video is to do a full clear using the exact loadout that i had put forward in the previous video i'm not going to change anything i'm just going to go straight into this the exact same way uh except i'm actually going to try to collect samples and actually try to um you know clear more clear all the objectives and the uh the uh primary of course but yeah so what we're going to do oh i dropped kind of close to an outpost hopefully they didn't hear me we're next to a spore spewer so that's gonna be our first objective that we go after calling our loadout stuff all right so we're gonna try to hit the spore spewer right here and then we're gonna go i guess for that outpost and then work our way over to the um work our way over to the primary let's see if we can't just knock it out real quick that's that taken care of all right, there's our first bug breach of the mission. Okay, large outpost. So I talked about this in the comments. All you need to do for these is just run circles around the outside of them. I'm gonna call a resupply in. This is gonna be a little lengthy fight here. I'm also gonna call an eagle in right here. Remember to always be focusing on clearing out. Um, Hunters, I see a hell bomb here. I'm gonna use my advantage. Keep an eye out for hell bombs as you go around. They can do quite a bit. Shoot it now. Oh, this charger has me stuck. Got the Titan with it. Use another eagle here. And now we should have some room to actually clear some of these bug holes. So we're gonna drop down to try to do that. So to answer why didn't I do this on the other loadout video, right? Because uh, I have been asked that plenty of times, right? The reason why, it's not because you can't do it with this loadout or anything like that. It's literally just because I'm already maxed out. I have everything. The purpose behind uh, that video was to quickly show the loadout off and kind of let people be on their way and to do a full oh, am i gonna die here i don't think so now i'm in a really bad position here because i've got two chargers on me with no stems and this build is not good for fighting chargers that is one thing it definitely cannot do all you can really do is strafe around and lose them when you eventually clear the objectives faster and they can keep up with you i reset that one bug hole over there and then i called a resupply in i've already forgotten where it was i think it was over here sadly but uh i need to get my stamina back do that while i only have little bugs after me oh, come on i'm gonna parkour up this side climb these rocks right here uh I see my supplies right there on the ground. Hopefully I can beat these bugs to it. I have a little bit of missing health. So what I can do is I can actually grab these and then hit the stem. And then I can uh, get all my stamina back to start running towards that primary objective. I'm gonna run this charger into this rock. Hopefully lose them through 
all these tall rocks here as we approach our first primary. Uh, there's the uranium. Grab the super samples while I'm here. This isn't the uranium. Never mind. I'm tripping. I don't know why I thought that was the uranium. There's the uranium over there. Just trying to get away from these bugs so that I can circle back to that primary objective. Now, because the bugs are all behind me, I'm wondering if there's no resistance in this outpost. There is, so we're gonna come back to that as well. Uh, we're gonna go around towards the primary, which is right here. Dropping a pin, south, 100 meters. All right, five minutes into the mission, we're looking pretty solid. I need to get my stamina back. All the little bugs that are still after me here. Stalker lair. Okay, I'm switching my priority to go deal with the stalker lair, which I think that's it right there, actually. Last thing I want is stalkers chasing me around while I'm trying to kite a bunch of baddies honors are generally a more common threat and more likely to actually kill you but stalkers if you let them go unchecked will absolutely ruin your kiting and ability to clear objectives with this build with all these samples while we're here All right, stalker layer taken care of. We're being chased by a few hunters here. I'm gonna keep clearing as I go. That's two secondaries, a large outpost, and that's it, taken care of. Uh, good pacing. By this point, I generally like to have a primary done as well, but we're right next to the primary. So I'm not really that concerned. That's a lot of small bugs over that way. That's a lot of hunters right there. Now, I've made a very big mistake here. I actually didn't rearm my eagle before I approached this. So I need to use these bombs so we can start rearming. She can start rearming, I guess. Ooh, I thought this hunter would be dead from my point blank breaker shots. He didn't die. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where is that bomb at? Alright, so we called in the bug breach over here. We're gonna try to just kite them out and then circle back to the primary and see if we can't clear it there. Use these rocks to get these uh, hunters stuck. These chargers stuck, rather. Let me adjust my, my arms here. We're gonna drop down, and then we're gonna climb these rocks again. Probably gonna run into some bugs here. Oh, we're good. They all went that way. And hopefully if I run this way, I can kind of lose them once again. I'm actually going to prioritize the supplies instead. I think it's going to be a bad decision, but we'll see. Why am I eagles? Can I remember that? This be exactly where I'd want that hell bomb or an eagle, but... And it's also where I would want to have the scout armor because you can escape these guys much, much easier in scout armor as opposed to this armor. Definitely a oversight in my original build. However, again, it's supposed to be like low skill floor and this will like save you from a lot of situations you shouldn't survive in. 
so that's why I was thinking to run this, but honestly, even with that in mind, I still think the scout armor is a superior armor to run for this loadout. A lot of things that could be better, um, especially now that the uh, new war bond progression stuff has come out, but it was not out at the time and you know, I don't know everything in this game. You know, as I started playing it, I didn't play Helldivers 1, so I still got plenty to learn, but all right, we're going to look for an entry point here. Now that we've kind of got some distance on the bugs, they should actually lose us as soon as we get through here. Uh, maybe not because there's still hunters chasing us, but we're going to get around here and then we are going to look for an entry point to clear out these eggs and grab this sample while we do. Hopefully it'll be a little more clear than it was before. I'm gonna say fuck it and just go in. Alright. Feeling pretty good about our pace in here, like I said. Pull oh, another eagle and then I'm gonna rearm after that. Let's head to this objective next. Let's start the rearm. Oh, there we go. Throw our resupply in deep. Do we have an outpost over here to clear as well? Might uh, look to do that. So that's actually, uh, I really wish we didn't have this map atmospheric uh, spores thing. Um, Usually, I don't actually mind it too much because all you need to do is find a radar tower and you're good for the rest. And most of the time, these missions have the radar tower. But in this specific instance, I wanted to fully. Oh. Objective locate. Never mind. That's good. So when you look at something and ping it in the distance, you can actually identify it and uh, mark it on the map and discover it on the map so you can make it over to it. What I was saying is the reason why uh, I'm actually pretty upset we have this map uh, atmospheric uh, spores on the map is because specifically when you're trying to make a video on full clearing everything things are pretty hard to actually do okay nice so when the tremors happen and you have the shield and easily just run around all the bugs are distracted they're they're kind of like almost like stunned i maybe should have tried to go for the uh objective during that but Okay, so here's the situation with this. Tactical we're gonna approach and we're gonna try our best to kill them all before bug breach. I can almost promise you we won't be able to do that. But sometimes you get lucky. Okay, we actually managed to do it, that's good. All right, now we're gonna call this in. You know, I threw a resupply in and I never actually went to go get it. That's so silly of me. Um, our eagle is rearmed. We're going to see if we can do this nice and quiet. Really hard to get it all the way done quietly before a patrol comes like knocking and looking for you, but sometimes you can make it happen. Or after this, we're going to knock out that primary over there. And then we're going to head this way to this secondary. And then there's one more somewhere. It's probably going to be over here somewhere. And we're going to hit that primary and then so I have plenty of time. We've collected a few samples. I'd like to get more than what we've gotten so far, but. Nice. The tip for that. Um, when you're doing it solo, all you need to do is turn it until you hear that little sound. That means you've got it lined up. You don't actually need to look at the terminal to complete it. My resupply is back. I don't want to call it in yet. Okay, I see two chargers there. Not ideal, for sure. What would be ideal is if like a tremor happened right now. That would be interesting. 
We're just gonna try to three chargers here, actually. I want those rare samples. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm probably gonna die here. I need to get over here and call an eagle around this corner. Okay. There's way too many hunters there for me to comfortably deal with. Those need to be addressed sooner rather than later. If that charger would charge at me, that would be good. He's not going to. Hit fire these eggs. Oh, we need two more. Fuck, I didn't realize I missed. Oh, I'm dead. Not my samples. No. Okay, I didn't die here. We're good. Yeah, I'm gonna try to call another eagle in around the corner here. Watch out for these spiky plants. I don't need any more slows on me. Eagle management is really important for running these solo things uh, with this build. Making sure you always have them ready. We need to kill like, what was it, two more eggs in there? Might even be something I employ my eagles to do, but... Yeah, maybe not. I'm gonna eagle all these guys. There we go. We got the sample on our way out. Right. Now we're gonna head this way. Throw an eagle there. Oh. Thank goodness that guy wasn't closer. But I have my breaker out. We do actually need to resupply as well, so I'm gonna uh, circle around these guys, and if I can manage to give them the slip, we're just gonna call a nice, pleasant, quiet resupply in. And uh, hit that. See all these points of interest. Good opportunity to grab more samples if we have time. So far we're making really good time. Uh, we have two secondaries and one primary to do in 24 minutes uh, i want to do this actually we're gonna hit this uh this outpost i'm gonna resupply before i do but we are my eagles too i don't want to run that way i don't want to run towards that patrol over there keeping them out of this fight would be ideal This is actually clear because of how many bugs were chasing me. Can't believe I didn't clear that bug hole over there. Got that one. There we go. Nice. Just gonna get my stamina back. Gonna circle all the way around again and head towards that secondary objective. So I actually doubt this is gonna be a proper full clear. Um, because I'm not gonna be able to hit all the outposts with this map issue. Because even with the radar station, it doesn't actually tell you where the outposts are. Usually, when you do a full clear, you don't want to have the atmospheric spores there because you can't actually see where everything is. Oh, that's nice. See how the bugs kind of get stunned a little bit? Doesn't last for super long, but it lasts for long enough that you can actually get away and give them the slip when you have the shield on, because uh, you do not get affected at all when you're running the shield. So, if you're playing on a map that does the tremors, then definitely consider the shield to be buffed in that situation. Normally, it kind of knocks your stamina down and stops you from doing much but luckily it pretty much completely stops the bugs they they just they just get hard stunned all righty why they haven't completely lost me yet probably because i'm not wearing scout armor but yeah, like i said i don't claim to know everything i just know a decent amount of things Got a light outpost here. I'm just gonna quickly knock out. Call that in. 
gonna circle this way. I see a nice, uh, nice kiting rock here to use. That's some good separation. I'm gonna go this way. Head for this, uh, this pod right here. Not this bad boy out. More samples. Tagging map west, 300 meters. Pretty much always have a patrol walk in after you at the very end of this objective, unless you're playing with randoms who are distracting the bugs, but I get lucky here. Who knows? Is this guy really alone? All right, that's another one down. We got half the mission time plus the two minute extraction. We just have the one Seaf artillery to deal with. Now the Seaf artillery, in my opinion, is the hardest secondary to solo. You will pretty much always have bugs creep up on you and then you gotta kite them away and come back. And just, it can really be a time sink, uh, even when you're playing with randoms. The trick is to not start the, um, you don't want to start the terminal until you have uh, gotten enough shells, gotten five shells next to the the gun. Tactical asset near your position. If this is clear, that would be really lucky. It's not clear. I already see. It looks like a charger, but yeah, it is a charger. Try to let that patrol walk by. Really wish they would just come this way and then leave that Seaf artillery open. Is that a Bile Titan I heard? So basically, oh no. So basically, with the um, Seaf artillery, you just want to try to do it as quietly as possible. I mean, that's pretty much any objective when you're soloing Helldive. You want to use stealth to your advantage. Um. The Seaf Artillery can really take a, uh, take a lot of time to properly do. You just want to stack five of the shells next to the gun before you hit the terminal, because the terminal is going to attract bugs. And then once you get the five shells next to the gun, you can uh, load it a lot easier. This uh, patrol is really just chilling around this secondary. I feel like what's going to have to happen here is I'm going to have to fight the patrol and then... Um... Like, get a bug breach summoned on it, run far away, and then run back. We still have plenty of time, so I'm not... Rushing anything exactly, but... I think I hear bugs on the other side of that rock. I don't like that I have to climb a hill... To get to this objective, because it means I don't know where the patrol is. Yeah, they're just patrolling around the objective, so I'm gonna have to probably clear these guys. Which means they're gonna call in a bug breach, and like I said, I'm gonna really have to run away and then back. Unless I don't. That was a really good eagle strike. So if you switch to your secondary while the shell is coming up off the ground, you can actually like throw it. Like that. And that helps you get stuff over a lot quicker. I don't even know if I can use that anymore. Then now that's up there, I probably have to vault. I say it gets it way, way quicker over to the loading spot. I already see one more.
All right, that's five. We hit this now. We run over here and we gotta load the shells quick. to our Quiet. last primary now. So I'm not sure if I've already said it this video, but when you are looking to extract with samples on solo, you definitely want to wait for the timer to completely run out. The reason you do that is because it'll automatically call down the extraction pelican. And while that pelican is coming for the two minutes, instead of be having to stick around the extraction point in like a, tall, a small circle, you can run around the entire map pretty much. And then when you are finally ready to actually extract, when you run back to the extraction zone, it'll be uh, mostly clear of, uh, of bugs. So. We'll be able to run pretty much straight onto the pelican and be good to go. I don't know if that was a patrol or just okay, those are just idle bugs. Uh you know what? I might wanna over here and like resupply, to be honest. I'm gonna resupply like right over there. Stuck in the rock. But you're probably gonna see me. Maybe not. I'd like to clear this. Oh, there's a charger there. I don't want to clear that. Alright, let's just take a long circle back around to that primary. Uh, uh what do I want to do? Kind of lazy, but I guess we'll do it anyway. Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm very lazy. I'm probably gonna get spotted here one way or another, but I don't want to make this too long of a rotation. Like, we have plenty of time, but I don't want to spend some time looking for outposts. Now, if this mission had the outpost presence that I could see on the map here, definitely could have properly full cleared it, but because I can't see it. I mean, you know, I have to like rely on my visual aids. Unless someone knows a trick. If anyone knows a trick for being able to spot uh, like bug presence when there's the atmosphere explorers, just let me know. It'd be very helpful for when I make these videos, but most of the time I don't actually need it because if we're being honest, clearing out the outposts is almost strictly like a video or challenge thing. Yeah, I've been spotted by a brood commander now. We're gonna get our stamina back. Do we have our eagles? Our eagles are kind of lacking. We only have one. But that might be all we need for right now. I should have called a new one in. There's a hell bomb there. That's definitely good to know. If we can get in to the point of entry with little resistance and clear some of this up. Get those samples. Man, I was really hoping that would just finish this objective off, but... That's okay, I guess. Use our one eagle here. The 500 kg on that corner. Just use our bombs to pretty much clear out some of the riffraff. How'd you like to taste 
Need him. Just getting rid of hunters. Want to get another entry point over there so I can get those last five eggs. Because then I can go look for goodies, outposts, and samples. Right, there's five eggs here. Yeah. All right. We've cleared all the objectives and now it's time to just hit some points of interest and look for outposts, but that's about all. Not sure. I might fast forward uh, this part. You guys might not even hear me say that because honestly, this part of the mission's gonna be pretty, pretty slow. I mean, it's already like done. We're kind of just taking a victory lap here. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, we'll grab samples and and whatever else we find over here. I guess we have all this time. Might as well, right? Because again, if you want to actually extract with samples, it's really, really hard to do when you are, uh, when you're solo and you try to call the extraction down. Way better to wait out the time and just take your victory lap. Don't be too humble with the bugs. Uh, they're about to humble me here in a second though, because I got greedy. Fine, maybe not. Wanted that rare sample down there. Oop. At the very least, this hopefully demonstrates that this build is like, you can actually full clear with this build and do everything. Uh, I even did it with more time than I usually do. Uh... Oh, I gotta remember the charger. Switch back to your breaker, man. There we go. Yeah, most of this is probably just going to be fast forwarded because nothing too interesting is going on here. Again, we're taking a victory lap at this point, just checking POIs and having a whale of a time with the bugs. Let's, uh, go this way, see if we find an outpost or something. I don't know. Beneath there. Now, if you're really worried about extracting with your samples and you're not confident that you can do it running around the map, um, another thing you can do is actually just drop your samples off by the extraction and then pick them up as you enter the pelican. I guess I'll check the extraction for any samples. That's sometimes a good thing to do because when I get here, I'm not really going to be hanging out and be heading straight for the pelican and getting out. Pretty good on samples, 17, 15, 9. For 17, 15, 6 rather, not 9. Yep. Ah, 
Stretch my arm out real quick. One thing I don't like about my chair is the positioning of my armrest will sometimes cause my hand to fall asleep. Like kind of messes with the circulation there. There's probably an outpost over here, right? Like right over this way. Nothing. You see what I mean though? Like, I'm kind of just... There might be a trick out there I'm unaware of. I'm, I'm probably going to dig into it after this video, but... Um, finding the outposts... I guess what I could have done, if I really wanted to min-max it, is I maybe could have screenshotted the... Uh, starting screen, like when you're still on the destroyer. Because it does show you the presence there, even when you have an atmospheric spore thing. I could have, uh, I suppose done that. That's going to be the primary, nothing over there. Because, uh, if you screenshot it and just put it up on like a second monitor or something like that, you can actually refer back to it and head towards those areas. Um... To clear them out, but also, also I could have counted how much stuff we've cleared out as well. I know that's clear down there. Yeah. I've kind of watched like this whole map at this point. I don't, I don't really know where else to go, so I'm just gonna go towards the extraction. Or at least like towards the in-between of the extraction and... I wish I could use the Seaf Artillery during the uh, extraction phase. As I said before, we have the entire map to kite around here instead of just the very small extraction circle ETA, T minus 10 seconds. that you would normally have. With this build, we have now completed pretty much the entire map. Again, without the spores, like if I 
knew where all the outposts were we could have done that too but completed the whole map ran around did some pois grabbed more samples i think we had like a total of what like probably close to 40 i don't know we'll see oh we did miss one outpost man we missed one outpost wonder where that last large outpost was hmm. i don't know but as you can see we had plenty of time to clear it anyway um really easily done uh and this build super simple let's see that's what that's yeah 39 um right yeah 39 samples uh but yeah super easy build i mean you just kind of run around and kill hunters with your breaker and uh use your eagles smart and that's it that's the video anyway i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you enjoy using this build i'm going to make new updated builds now but i just wanted to show that even though this build is 38 even though this build is a little bit outdated it's still doable and i did this no deaths like uh, no death full clear i mean it can't get much better than that this is actually my first no death run so kind of kind of cool uh anyway thank you guys for watching and uh, follow me for more stuff. I'm going to be doing more solo hell dive stuff. And uh, yeah, bye bye.